Alright guys, Titans theme team episode number 40. We made it to 40 episodes guys. It's been a long haul, but we finally made it. Let's go ahead and get into the lineup. Yo, 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 what is going on everybody? It is D-Man coming back at it again with another youtube video and today i'm gonna be going over the lineup of our titans theme team again i think this this theme team is one of the more underrated theme teams in the game especially when you look at all the potential upgrades we have um let's go ahead and get into it so we only got one new player and that was Derek roberson golden ticket uh i believe that was the only one we got because i believe we got i think the newest one other than him was caleb farley i believe we got him last week so yeah, I think, I think it was only Derek Roberson. He's our only new guy on the team. But um, if you look at this team as a whole, and you look at the potential upgrades across the board, there's a ton. Obviously, you got Randy Moss. He's going to get an ultimate legend for sure. Um, the line is pretty much complete here, in my opinion. Uh, no more power-ups are coming, so we can't get a Jack Conklin power-up, which is unfortunate. But hey, at the end of the day, maybe we get a... Um, Mundos, the dude we uh, drafted in the second round, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Maybe we get him as a right tackle. He might be a left tackle. Um, so maybe we put him at left tackle. Maybe he's like a 94-ish overall. Um, I think that's what their overall was last year in the second round. Uh, maybe he's a 95, uh, which wouldn't be too bad to get a 97 overall left tackle. And then maybe having Taylor Lewan get an upgrade, whether it be power up expansion or something like that. Uh, and then we could probably move him over to right tackle. If he's a gold 99, um, let's check out what he would be at right tackle um, just to see if we can move him over here so he's an 86 and he is an 87 at left tackle I believe and I believe he, he'll get that cam so he's an 88 and he's an 86 here so if he gets a gold 99 then he could potentially be a 97 at right tackle chemed up plus 2 to a 99 so that'd be perfect if that is the case and I would absolutely love that so yeah Taylor Lewan upgrades really the only uh, you know the only potential o-line upgrade we got other than the uh the guy we dropped the second round i believe he's a left tackle um so maybe they move him at right tackle i don't know for the promo but i think he'd be a left tackle and then maybe when taylor Lewan gets his upgrade we can throw me at right tackle and we'd be good to go um tight end johnny smith I've, I've said it for well, i haven't said it of recent but i've said it in the past I, I i said that he would be one of the best golden tickets to make just because of his speed and that's about it because you make a golden ticket johnny smith his speed's gonna be there you've got a solid build at tight end you've got you know if you bump the run blocking a little bit it's gonna be very solid there so um who knows developer golden tickets uh last year they let a titans fan make you know one of the one of the, the developers were, was a titans fan he made keith bullock so who knows they might ask him again he might make another titans player um so maybe johnny smith there's a ton of other guys you can look at uh, another you know potential golden tickets vince young i think he'd be a phenomenal fun car to use um but yeah golden ticket talk to a couple defensive guys too and i guess you could look at wide receivers too and tyrone calico drew bennett but i'll talk about them right now and being a power up expansion candidate now drew bennett only has that 87 overall at the beginning of the year um and i think for you, you've got to get all those team diamonds that don't have an upgrade all year i think you got to involve them in the power up expansion um, which will be coming this Wednesday. So I believe it will be either be this Tuesday or Wednesday. I don't think they've confirmed the day, but I would imagine it would be Wednesday since they have nothing on Wednesday anymore. And it used to be Wildcard Wednesday. I would assume it'd be Power Up Expansion. I think that would be a good way to replace Wildcard Wednesday. Um, like I said, Drew Bennett, Calico. I've got a full list of guys right here by me, and uh, I could go off, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just say when I look at the lineup here and say the guys that I see. So Drew Bennett's one of those guys. I think he can get a power-up expansion. Tyron Calico, a 50 guy. I think he could get a power-up expansion. Um, there are a couple guys on defense, too, that we'll go over also. <clears throat> but, yeah, quarterback, we know we're getting a golden ticket, Tannehill. Tannehill's release, not the best, not the worst, right there in the middle. So, I mean, I mean, if you're going to worry about the release, I think it's, you know, in my opinion, I'm not worried about a millisecond later release, you know, it's it's very very small the difference between the fastest release in the game and the slowest it's pretty small you can tell the difference between the fastest and slowest but if you're somewhere in the middle you know I, i'm not gonna complain about half a half a millisecond release just because Tannehill's hills release slower than 
you know, Aaron Rodgers, that makes no sense for me not to use. I mean, that just, you know, if I have a Titans theme team and I'm getting a golden ticket to Tannehill, I'm going to use Tannehill. And if you have a if you have a Titans theme team and the reason you're not going to use golden ticket Tannehill is because his release, man, that's, that's petty in my opinion. But at the end of the day, we know we're getting a golden ticket quarterback now. I'm so glad that Derek Carr came out because he is absolutely atrocious. Tannehill's looking a little bit better now, but, um, you know, Tannehill, you can get everything you can get for RG3, except we just got to pay one more for the escape artist, which, in my opinion, it's not that bad. You know, it didn't get messed up as much as Derek Carr, but, um, you know, Tannehill's card's very solid. He's got great stats, uh, but at the end of the day, I think Tannehill's going to play phenomenal. Um, halfback here, I don't have Derek Henry at a 99 right now. I'm still using my 99 overall power up pass and Adore Jackson. We'll get into that in a second. Uh, just because I'm still working on those challenges from the draft, trying to get my 97s and throw into a set and get, uh, you know, Dory, and then I can throw the power up back into Derrick Henry. But the reason I'm not using Derrick Henry is, you know, with my 99 overall power up pass is because, I mean, the dude is the exact same. He's got the exact same stats as he does on his 98 versus 99. There's no reason to throw a power up pass when you can just use it on someone else like a Dory Jackson. Um, like I said, Randy Moss, Ultimate Legend, got the golden ticket AJ Brown for about a week or so. Uh, so, yeah. Very solid offense here, in my opinion. You got good, good offensive line here. Protect your quarterback uh, with two beasts of you know running backs here. So yeah, and you got weapons on the outside, especially if Bennett gets an upgrade in power expansion. If Tyrone Calico gets an upgrade in power expansion, this this offense turns from great to elite because you've got Randy Moss who's going to get Ultimate Legend. You've got a six foot four Randy Moss, six foot four Calico, six foot five Drew Bennett with AJ Brown, Golden Ticket, with and Andre Johnson. You know so. That's that's incredible in my opinion. So yeah, the offense is looking nice. We'll go over the chemistries I forgot to go over and the abilities I run on my offense. Um, so I do run, you know, route tech, slotomatic on AJ. Um, so there you have it there. AJ with slotomatic and route tech. Uh, and then Steve McNair have him with inside dead eye and gunslinger. Uh, Steve Hutchinson with edge protector because I have him at left tackle. Derek Henry with reach forward arm bar and bulldozer. Uh, Kevin Y post up edge protector on uh, Dennis Kelly and then yeah I believe that's it so yeah and most of you guys might question me for running arm bar and bulldozer instead of just having um what what's the the combination the the bruiser is that the ability or I think it's bruiser that you get those two pretty much combined but instead I like to use them both individually uh just because I feel like they work a little bit better I'm not sure if that's the case but for me I feel like I get more stiff arm animations when I'm using arm bar. I feel like I use get more trucking animations when I'm using bulldozer. So I don't know. Um, maybe it's just me or maybe it's not. I don't know. But here's the chemistries we have on offense. Balanced O at 50 out of 50. That's how you get the O-line, uh, you know, plus two overalls to their chemistries there uh, or to their overalls. Uh, so that's how I have Saffold up to a 99. That's how I have, you know, Mawai up to a 99. Uh, so balanced O, in my opinion, is probably at this point in the game, one of the best. Um and play fake in my opinion but i'm running go deep here uh you know just to get randy's uh, go deep or deep route running up to a 99 um and then you know i'm probably going to go ahead and switch the play fake once calico gets an upgrade once bennett gets an upgrade um so yeah M more than likely going to be going to play fake instead of go deep maybe play fake at 50 and then balance though maybe a little lower i don't know we'll have to figure it out once we get a few more upgrades on offense and see what they're you know they they need they need some you know short medium route running then now throw on the you know the play fake but yeah that is it for the offense shaker i've switched to shaker i think i've said that in the past uh from sprinter to shaker so you know you still get one speed but you don't lose as much as you do with the you know um you know, sprinter uh and then brawler there's everyone with brawler pretty much the whole offensive line and also lorenzo neal so yeah that's pretty much it for the offense again upgrades we pretty much got we got the guaranteed golden ticket Tannehill. Um, and then other than that, you know, maybe we get a dev golden ticket, Randy Moss. I hope Randy Moss gets an ultimate legend next week because I'd love for his, for one of his set pieces to be like a free safety, strong safety, cornerback, something like that. And then one of the dev golden, you know, dev, uh, they can go ahead and make like a free safety, you know, Randy Moss. I think that'd be phenomenal. Uh, so that'd be a pretty cool golden ticket if they could make that, um, defensively. So here we go defensively again, we're pretty much one safety away and a defensive lineman upgrade away. Uh, if we can get an Albert Hainsworth power-up expansion, that would be phenomenal because then we would have two 99 defensive tackles that both get Tennessee Titan chemistry. Uh, and then I could easily just move Clowney to inside linebacker. And we've got a 99 overall defense. Like, that's that's phenomenal. Um, and then we can move Curse 
Uh, back up the outside linebacker, move Clowney here, and then curse the outside linebacker. Have Kevin Carter back here, Vandenbosch here. But for the meantime, I've actually rotated a lot of guys. So this was where Curse was, where Derek Roberson is. Uh, and I've moved Curse back to his original position at left end. I've moved Vandenbosch, who was over here at left end, back over to right end. Kevin Carter, which was interesting about him, is he can only get Kevin up to 99 out of position at right end. So I've had him here for a while. I think he's played phenomenal. If he gets the ultimate legend, watch out, because that car could be very nice. Uh, because he plays phenomenal as a 96. Uh, I think he's one of the best. He's one of the most underrated linemen in the game. Um, I don't know. He just something about him. Man. He just plays very well for me, especially when you put, you know, unpredictable reach elite. I think he plays phenomenal. Um, safeties. Like I said, we got to get one more safety, whether it be Kenny Vaccaro power expansion. That would help out the team the most, guys. We can get a Kenny Vaccaro power expansion. The secondary is complete. Move Kevin Byard back over here to free safety. You also have Kenny Vaccaro right here at 99 at strong safety. Then you got two gold 99 strong safety and free safety there. Uh, but for the meantime, we're having to rock KB here at free safety and keep Logan Ryan here at, uh, uh, at free safety. I say I meant Kevin Byard here at strong safety, Logan Ryan here at free safety. But like I said, if we get a Kenny Vaccaro upgrade, that would be phenomenal. And also, I believe that's pretty much it. Now, middle linebacker is one need. I don't know if they're going to give Avery Williamson a power-up expansion. I would love for him to get one, but I don't think that's going to happen. Um, so, like I said, we might just end up having to move Clowney out of position here, middle linebacker, move Curse back up here to, you know, outside linebacker, I believe. Derek Roberson gets kept up over here. We'll have to move some stuff around, but trust me, all we need is a safety upgrade with Kenny Baccaro and, an, and also an Albert Hainsworth upgrade there. So, all we need is a safety and a D-tackle. Then we got a 99 overall defense, guys. So watch out, man. This this team is phenomenal, especially when you have two golden ticket outside linebackers and Derek Roberson and also Jadavion Clowney. I think that's phenomenal. I'm gonna use her with Clowney. You'll see me. I use I've, I've been using her with Clowney for the entire year, pretty much when he got the golden ticket when it came out. But here's Derek Roberson. Now, question is, do you want to run lockdown on this guy or do you want to run run stuff? For me, it's got to be run stuff because if you go down and look at the zone here. The zone is only at an 82. Now, if it was at an 85, that decision would have been a lot harder because you could either go lockdown at, you know, 45 and get the zone up to 90. If he had 85 stock zone, um, and that would put him at the threshold, so you just drop him back whenever you wanted to. But he only gets 82 zone, so there's no reason to put lockdown on him because, you know, a guy that has 82 zone coverage versus a guy that has 87 zone coverage, you're not going to see much of a difference there. So, um... That's why I'm having run stuff with him. Another reason I have run stuff on him is because of that block shed. The block shed is really low on him. He's got 91 stock, but I've got the run stuff boosting that up to 95. So I do think that's pretty important to get that as high as possible because you want him to play good against the run also. And he's going to be phenomenal against the pass. He's going to be able to get to the quarterback. If you guys watched the gameplay yesterday, he pretty much got the game when it sacked there toward the end of the game um, and pretty much, you know, wrapped it up there. But here's Derek Roberson, 95 speed, 99 excel, 89 strength. You could run, you know, shaker on him if you wanted to, but you got to get the strength up at least a little bit there to 89. Again, 85 strength on him is kind of disrespectful, but, you know, 89 strength, I guess we'll have to work with what we got. 99 tackling, 99 play rec, 95 block shed, 99 power move, and 99 finesse move. Just a very solid card overall. Again, if you wanted to use it with this guy, you could. 6'3", 250 is a phenomenal frame on him. Um, he's going to be able to bring down those big backs being at 250 pounds. Uh, so yeah, that's another reason you could you know use her with him. He's gonna be able to bring those like Derrick Henry type backs. You know the Bettis that just came out. A lot of people are gonna be running him. You know maybe a 25 out of 50 Steelers theme team. Um, so I you know and that's pretty much the meta guys. If you have big backs that can fall forward, that's you're gonna see a lot of guys with big backs unless you know you see a lot of receiving backs like an Alvin Kamara, Barry Sanders once he gets his upgrade will be phenomenal as a receiving back, but. For the meantime, I think Derrick Henry is one of the best running backs in the game, maybe the best running backs in the game, just because of his weight and what he can get ability-wise uh, with the arm bar, bulldoze, or reach for it, all for 3 AP. I mean, that's that's just tough, man. I don't know how you're going to stop the Derrick Henry unless you got someone that's above 250 pounds. Um, but, yeah, again, strolling through here, 82 change direction, a little low on him, but, you know, you can still use her with that. Um, 99 impact blocking, also a phenomenal you know, stat there to have at 99 with a plus five there. And then bottom here, you see pretty much we saw at the top. Um, so yeah, like I said, if we get a safety upgrade, I'm probably going to start using with Kevin Byard because I kind of got, I kind of got, I'm not going to lie, I kind of got a little bit spoiled with the user and Kevin Byard and that Kevin Byard gameplay. I think I used it a little bit with him, but um, I've been using him with Clowney. 
Atlanta just don't have the change of direction that Kevin Byard does. So I just want one safety upgrade, and I can just keep Logan Ryan out there, bring down maybe Kenny Vaccaro if he has decent speed. But you know, at the end of the day, I think you got to have someone with speed. You know, you're, you're gonna lose a little bit of weight there, obviously, but speed-wise, you're gonna, you know, if speed's there. You're gonna have better change of direction with Kevin Byard. So once we get another safety upgrade, defensively, I'm probably gonna start using one with a safety. Finally, I've just been asking for a safety upgrade for a long time, and we just we got one with Kevin Byard. Thank you, EA, for that. That was a phenomenal upgrade, but we just need one more with Ke uh, Kenny Vaccaro. Uh, so yeah, defensively, we're running lockdown at 45. All right, so lockdown's there at 45. Is everyone with lockdown? Uh, then also run stuff is at 42. Now I had the decision to go ahead and put run stuff at um, leave run stuff at 35 and get to max lockdown at 50. But what you're getting at max lockdown, you see awareness, man coverage, stamina. I don't run man, so I was thinking, you know, maybe it, you know it helps out their stats. But at the end of the day, what do I do? I don't run man, I run zone. So I thought that it was much better to getting run stuff because you actually get a block shed at tier 40. So I thought putting run stuff at 40 would have helped me out more than, you know, getting a plus one to man to everyone in the secondary, which I never run man. So it didn't make sense there. So that's why I went with run stuff there at 40 out of 45. Uh, and then also Shaker and Brawler. Here's everyone here with Shaker. You guys pause the video if you need to. And then also here's everyone with Brawler, uh, Derek Rovers and Rashawn Evans, uh, and then pretty much the entire defensive line there uh and the backup so yeah you guys also might see daquan is actually at a 97 too with that run stuff getting up to 40 uh so that's another good thing there i guess you could just say you know you know hey it's a good role player i guess i mean he's not gonna see the field for me especially since we run three through five wide a lot so definitely not gonna see the field for me um really hangsworth doesn't you know see the field for me either but he's got solid speed once he gets an upgrade let's check him out once he gets an upgrade i think this card's gonna be very good especially with his how heavy he is at uh 350 six foot six gonna clog up everything in the middle he's gonna play like a he's definitely gonna be a lot different than Leroy Glover but we got you know somewhat of a diverse defensive tackle with you know Leroy Glover and then Hainsworth Hainsworth's gonna be able to clog up everything Leroy Glover's gonna be able to get to the quarterback a lot easier because Hainsworth's not gonna be able to track him down with that 78 speed but once he gets an upgrade let's see 93 on this card so let's say plus six overall here so I'm gonna say plus four plus five speed they're looking at about mid, low to mid 80s, maybe like 82, 83, 84 speed once he gets a power of expansion. Um, Going to get up to 99 uh, strength, which is also good. What's his impact blocking? Uh, 98, so that's going to be up to 99. Um, that's another key thing I like to look at on defensive tackles and D linemen. So yeah, I mean, block shed's going to get up there. Power moves, man, that's going to be tough. I don't think power moves, power moves not going to get up to stock 99 if you want to use Kim's like pass rusher that's gonna get up to 99 but block shed in my opinion he's gonna be playing against the run a lot so definitely rather have run stuffer on him he's gonna get to 99 uh, block shed on his power up expansion card 99 tackle 99 play rec more than likely so looking at a lot of 99 overall stats here um on this guy once he gets the power up expansion he's gonna be able to stop the run a lot more um but if i'm going up against a guy that likes to pass a lot i'm probably just gonna plug in Leroy glover and let him you know he's a lot better against the pass in my opinion throw him at the edge if you wanted to too so uh, in my opinion, Haynes with a great run stopper and Leroy Glover a great, you know, player against the pass. Um, he plays good against the run too. Special teams, Brett Kern, I think he deserves an upgrade, but you know, do I think that's going to happen? Probably not, uh, unless we do position heroes, but I don't think position heroes is going to be a thing because they already used the animation for a different promo. So yeah, that's an another interesting thing there. I don't think we're going to get another Brett Kern. Maybe we get him and like, I would always, I always said that I would love like a kicker and punter promo. You know, you know, it'd be a boring promo, but again, at the end of the day, you do need solid kickers and punters. You, you know, you need kickers. Thank goodness we got that Kiskowski. Uh, but again, I'd love to have like a kicker and punter promo. I don't know how they would work that in, but you know, what if every team got like a 95 plus punter and 95 plus kicker? I think that'd be phenomenal. Again, it would be a boring promo, but I think it's a need. It's definitely a need for sure. Uh, we got Barry Sanders returning kicks for us. Bruce Matthews as a long snapper. No one cares specialist here is you know you can pause the video if you want i really haven't even checked this page um for a while but i do have caleb farley there in the slot we'll see him today um and also you guys always want to ask me about variable here's everything i have on variable so i've got balanced o balanced o balanced o balanced o balanced o on him and also i have locked down locked down locked down locked down and locked down so i've got five balanced o's and five locked down on Mike Vrabel, and if you think about this, we've got 63 out of 50 Titans. So if you put this, if you use this team with fillers, 
goodness gracious. Again, I, can, I guess you can say that about any team right now, but um, we're rocking with the Raiders offense and the Jets defense. Been rocking with that since day one of Madden. Um, actually, no, I think I was rocking with San Francisco offense, and I made the switch to Oakland. I like their, you know, run, you know, running plays out of the, you know, some of their formations I like. So I went to Oakland, and also we are running, ra rocking with these Titans units. I love the blue, the blue bottoms, baby blue bottoms. Uh, I think they look phenomenal. So you're gonna see that on the field today, whether it be away or home. We're both gonna be, you know, having the baby blue bottoms there. But yeah, that's pretty much it for everything. I, I, I think I skipped over abilities on defense. But what I like to run on abilities on defense. I like to run my X factors on my cornerbacks because you know if they get a pick, then you know they play a lot better. So Caleb Farley, I have him with Zone Hawk, and also have Jason McCourty uh, with Zone Hawk also. Uh, and then I have Leroy Glover with Reach Elite, unpredictable. Curse with Reach Elite, unpredictable. Vanden Bosch, Reach Elite, unpredictable. Uh, and then I have Clowney here, who is not act or he is activated. Uh, but when I say when I hit activate here, it says I exceeded the limit, but I've only got two. It makes no sense to me. I don't know, but apparently I just can't activate shutdown. Uh, but I still have him with Deflator Enforcer Lurker, uh, and then Derek Roberts in here with Edstrad Elite and Unpredictable. So that's pretty much everything. No secondary abilities, uh, but I do have a couple of X factors on them. So you know, I just let Kevin Byard eat. If you watch that gameplay on um, on Derek Roberson, Kevin Byard had two picks, one for six, and the other one that sealed the game. So I think he plays A-OK -okay without abilities, in my opinion. So, yeah. With that being said, guys, you know, I always like to recap the team, go through it every week, give it a little bit of update of what I've done. But, really, nothing really has changed this past week. Um, but, yeah, you know we got another uh, golden ticket on the way with that being Tannehill. Don't know if we're going to have any other um, upgrades next week. Uh, maybe we get someone in the power-up expansion. Like I said, Calico, Drew Bennett, um, some of those guys like that. You know, Albert Haynes or someone like that. Uh, really for the power of expansion you're looking for guys that have a power up that are historical players but aren't of that ultimate legend caliber like a Finnegan's another guy there for the Titans so um, you know obviously Finnegan's not going to get ultimate legend so it's probably going to be a power up expansion same with you know Drew Bennett he's not an ultimate legend probably going to get a power up expansion um, Sam with Calico he played three seasons in the NFL had his career end pretty much due to injuries which is unfortunate but again I think he's de definitely not an ultimate legend so you know, I could see him getting a power of expansion. I think he'd play phenomenal. I can't wait to get Randy Moss Ultimate Legend, Calico six foot four, Randy Moss six four, and Drew Bennett six five on the field at the same time. With you know, if, if in case we need AJ Brown, throw him out there if we need him. But man, you talk about one of the best wide receiving cores in the game. I think the Titans might have it in Drew Bennett, Randy Moss, and Tyrone Calico. Once Tyrone Calico and Drew Bennett gets upgraded, so yeah. With that being said, let's go ahead and let's hop into the game. All right, guys, hopping into this one. Looks like we're taking on maybe just a good team in general. Not really a theme team. It didn't look like there. So you got Steve McNair, Sam Mills, and AJ Brown for us there. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. All right, guys, so defensively, looks like he might run the ball here. Uh, so we got to watch out for that first off. But uh, looks like it's actually a Saints theme team. It's good tackle. Clowney rolls over, gets a couple there, up to the 22. Actually going to go five wide here. So I'm actually going to bring a little bit of pressure. Hopefully we can uh, get a stop here defensively. He's gonna throw it there to Shannon Sharp. He's got a good bit there. Can't have, I can't have Logan Ryan and Man there. I just, that was a terrible re. I, I shouldn't have done that. I'm honestly not sure how that was picked up. We sent six. He was blocking f uh, five. So don't know how that even happened there. I'm gonna crash middle on the defensive line and try and wrap around and make the tackle with Clowney. And it's gonna be a play action here. So we're gonna watch out for that. He's gonna throw it right at Clowney. Ooh, that was a close one. That was a... I don't know what he was looking at there. All right, so... Shaded outside. Got Derek Roberson rushing. Hopefully, he can get home a couple times. Doesn't look like he's running any abilities on his line. So, hopefully, Derek Roberson can get open a little bit today. Oh, dumps it off. Wow, that was close. Sam Mills almost made a play on that ball. I'm very tempted to, to blitz everyone again, but I'm not. I'm going to stay in what I am. He's going to try and throw it there, and that's a Dory Jackson who's going to break this tackle. We might can get something here with a Dory. Ah, uh, we got chased down, I believe. Who is that right there? Is that Julio? It is Julio. So, but yeah, we'll take the pick there. Dory Jackson, great play on the ball. We got it at the 18. All right, guys, so second to seven here. I just ran the ball here. He's got to have a deflate. So, yeah, I ran the ball one time with Derrick Henry, and you guys see that in uh, the deflator with Cam Chancellor. He tackled me, and Derrick Henry's he was yellow. Uh, but Derrick Henry... Fumble that time. Oh, my God. I made sure he was back at full health, too. 
Wow. All right, guys, next play here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the snap off. I'm going to have A.J. Brown come over, motion over. Snap it, snap it, snap it. There we go. Look at that. A.J. Brown sidelines the first down. I'm telling you guys, that route tech on A.J. Brown, man. Underneath, he catches everything. Just absolute monster there. Good break tackle there, Derek. Another one. Truck him. Ball comes out. Derek Henry's fumbled twice, and he stays in bounds. Wow, Derek Henry. What is going on, bud? He's fumbled twice. I made sure to take him out for a play, get a breather. I made sure he was at full health again, and he fumbled again. What is going on? Honestly, guys, I've never seen anything like that in my life. I might have to just pass the ball the whole game because we can't do anything if Derrick Henry's fumbling the ball every time. Goes to the flats there. Caleb Farley just make a tackle. Can't make a tackle. Up to the 22. I think he got the first. I'm sending a blitz. I'm sending it this time. Let's go. Someone's got to get home. Kick, Clowny. Let's go. Wrong read, brother. Wrong read, brother. Let's go, Clowny. Out. You got an hour. Dude, that lineman's like got 4-2 speed. Who is that? That's that That's that. That rookie card, that Pinesh Sewell, whatever his name is. My God, he's got like 97 speed or something. Watch this dude chase down Jadavion Clowney. My God. Hopefully this will play out here. But watch this 4-2 speed on this. Oh, never mind. Won't show it, but oh my God. Go back in the video and watch that again. That dude was chasing down Clowney like he was, I don't know, it's like Devin Hester out there. All right, guys, next play here. I'm going to try my best to get this snap off. It's going to be very close. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. I think we actually are. I think we are. Yeah, we got it. Looking for AJ. Look at AJ. Look at the separation on AJ Brown. AJ Brown, sideline. AJ Brown. Ah, got caught there. But he has 99 speed. I don't know how he got caught there. But up to the 11. Great play. 11-yard line, number 11, AJ Brown. That's what I'm talking about. I don't know, guys. I just love this formation a lot. You got a lot to choose from out of this formation. Obviously, let's block AJ Brown. Couple of drags out there. Let's see what we can do here. Oh no. That was a bad throw by me. That was definitely my bad there. I think I'm fooling around right now. I should just run the ball a couple times. Derrick Henry should be able to get in for me, but we'll run a screen here. Derrick Henry out. Race that guy. There we go. Block. Get to the goal line. He was going for the reach forward animation there. Can I go no huddle? I think we got out of bounds there. Yeah, third and two at the two yard line. This dude's got to know what's coming here. Oh, he's calling timeout. He's calling timeout. You guys see who's in the game, right? It's Vince Young. Look how wide open the middle is. We got to just make sure we can block Chancellor. I think he's doing some sort of thing to get around him. But, oh, my God, that was a bad play. I don't know how. I thought we were able to. Someone's got to block him. I don't fourth and two here. Uh, I'm taking my three. All right, guys, coming back out here on defense. Clowney made a big play. Can he make another one here? Let's flip the play. Can't flip the play. Over the middle. I knew it was coming. I just didn't know if he was going to cut in or go corner. I didn't know. See, that's the that's the only bad thing about Clowney, in my opinion. He just doesn't have the best change of direction. And I'm trying to flip the play. Big hit there. There we go. Like I was saying, Clowney just doesn't have the best change of direction on him. So I just, I'm not able to make those cuts I am outside of route there to Kamara. There we go. We'll take that. Good tackle, Clowney. I mean, you know, with him not having any lineman abilities... I would assume that, you know, Derek Roberson would be... Okay, there we go. Good pressure. I think that was Derek Roberson actually there. I was about to say Derek Roberson should be getting to the quarterback a little bit. I think he was there, uh, forcing that inaccurate throw. It's fourth and four, and he is going to go for it. So we're going to go right back to cover three. I'm going to go hard flats. I'm going to take away anything in the middle I can see. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a stop here. Inside, Rowdy had it. I had to take away Kamara there. That was an easy dump off if I didn't use her Kamara. Good throw there, first and ten. Pretty solid game so far, guys. Not going to lie. He's done some good stuff on offense, but he just made that one mistake. Sack. Oh, Derek Roberson again. There we go. I, I say his name, and he starts playing better. I might need to start saying his name more often. I might need to flip which side of the field he's on, too. Might have to throw him on the right side there. Let him meet on the right tackle. I think that's Ramcheck over there. Um, underneath there. Good throw. I probably... Yeah. I was just, I didn't really have anyone underneath there. I was trying to take away the two verts, um, which I did pretty well. I just forgot about Kamara out of the backfield. Um, underneath, look at Derek Roberson going to work. All right, so I've got Derek Roberson now on the right side of the field. See if he can go to work on the, uh, the right tackle there. Underneath, 
Solid tackle. He's got a minute and 25 seconds to get to the end zone on third and fourth to 29. Man, just love the way Derek Roberson's playing so far today. He's going to go out route there. Big hit, but unfortunately not able to force the fumble. He's got a minute left here. First and 10 at the 20. Maybe I should have kept Derek Roberson over there. Over the middle. Taysom Hill caught it. Man, is that Taysom? I don't know if that's Taysom Hill. Was that Taysom Hill? It was number seven. No, that's Jamar Chase. That's my fault. All right. Got to get to the quarterback, guys. Got it to the one-yard line with 30 seconds to go. What's he going to do here? All right, guys. I'm coming out run D. Ah, we got there, but he fell forward for the touchdown. I thought we were going to be able to make the tackle there. Man, that would have been interesting if we were able to stop him. He had to use that timeout. But, yeah. Nonetheless, he gets in for six and probably going to make the extra point here. To make it a four-point game, man, that's, you know, also you got to think back on should we have gone for it on that fourth and two? I don't know. I mean, I still think we're A-OK -okay right now. I think we can drive down the field pretty easily against them. So, hopefully we can do that. Hopefully we can do just that. And hopefully, I think we get ball back at half, so we should be fine. All right, guys. I mean, he gave us a chance here. He, he like, squib kicked it to Lorenzo Nil. Lorenzo brought it back to the 37. We got an opportunity here to make some something happen. So, obviously, we're looking for A.J. Brown. Look at A.J. Brown go. Look at A.J. Brown up the... There we go. Get out of bounds. All right. We're in field goal range. We got three timeouts. So we can still look for the end zone here, but I just... Three points would be nice. Man, I honestly... I don't know if I should have... Let's reset this play. I don't know if I should have led that up because that was definitely pretty scary there. We're going to look to do the same exact thing here. Maybe get a couple more yards. Um, probably going to try to use her AJ Brown this time. Dumped it off to Cook. All right, let's call a timeout. Let's take it down here. That was probably a little scary. I actually was trying to throw it to um, Andre Johnson. All right, call a timeout. There we go. Two seconds left. See if we can go ahead and knock this field goal on through. That would be nice. Still three points out of him. Uh, yeah, definitely nice. I mean, he did kick it to me. Squib kick it to me. Gave me opportunity, so we're able to make this. This would be pretty big here. So here's Guskowski here. Looks good. It's probably going to be good. It should be good. It's straight down the middle. 7-6. He's up, but hey, two field goals are right there. All right, guys. Yes, we do get ball back at half, so that's exactly what we're doing right now. Just have to go ahead and make a big play here. Derrick Henry, cut to the left, man. We got a lot of yards over there if we get out there to the left. Not gonna lie, guys, his run defense is very, very, very good. I'm actually gonna try and run an inside zone here. We're gonna ID that guy, double team the X Factor guy here, I believe. Yeah, he's got inside stuff, so definitely double team him. And we just leave him. No one blocks him. We block him for a second, but we just leave him. I don't know what we're doing there. Third and seven, we gotta throw the ball. This play even gets even. It gets even better when you have the wide side of the field to work with here. So we're gonna run it again. He's probably going to try and chase with AJ, so I'm going to go underneath. Look at Andre Johnson there. Get the first for me, baby. Uh, a couple yards short. We'll go to a huddle here. What's he going to do? He's going to have to take away one. He's going to take away AJ. I think AJ, I don't know if AJ was open there, um, but what we're going to try to do is dump it off to Andre Johnson here. He might go hard flats. We'll see. Nah. No, it was swatted down to Marcus Ware. What a play. We had him wide open, guys. I, will, I actually lowballed that, so that was kind of my fault, but man, we had him wide open. Yeah, that's pretty tough, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, stuck on Derek Roberson there. But, hey, made a good play on the ball there. Lost a two. Good play, Kevin Byard. Empty backfield once again. Hey, we're sending pressure. All right, here we go. Okay, he, I think he tried to lowball that. Hit, <coughs> excuse me, hit his lineman. I think we, we might have had to play on that ball, guys. I knew exactly what he was wanting to do there. Third and 12. Big third down here, guys. Third and 12. See what we can do here. Let's flip the play. Flip the play. Thank you. I want Derek Roberson rushing on that end. He's throwing it right at me. Clowny again. Clowny again. Can we take this one back? Oh, Jones. Oh, we tried to swerve there. Almost had it. But, hey, big play again. Clowny with two picks, five tackles. A great game from Clowny so far. We've got two minutes and four seconds here in the third quarter. Hopefully, we can take the lead here. We're in good field position here. So, hopefully, we can get three out of it at least. So, let's go ahead and get into us. Hey, we got to get seven points, man. All right, guys, I just know for a fact Andre's going to be open a good bit unless he goes hard flats. If he goes hard flats, then, you know, uh, AJ might be open. But it looks like his user's going to be going over there. So maybe Cook gets open here. Nah. I tried to lo Why was that pass so bad? 
All right. We're on the same thing, guys. I know it gets boring, but hey, it's been working. I might look for Cook over the middle. Um, we'll see, though. Outside the pocket. Look at someone put just their guy. Oh, please get down. Oh, God, that was scary. All right. Do you trust Derrick Henry to get an inch? I, I almost, I just have to. I, I think Derrick Henry straight up the gut. has got to get an inch, right? Derrick Henry breaking through. <laughs> that looked like he's going to get tackled for a gain of like one or two. Broke out of it. Gains 11. First and 10 at the 22. Going another run play here. I'm actually going to try stretch. Stretch not as good as it was last year, but we're going to try it this time here. Oh, I don't know if I should have cut that in. I might should have kept that in a little bit earlier, but hey, that just we just lost three yards there. That wasn't the, that wasn't the greatest. I think he thinks that I run out of this formation every time because I think that's all I've done. But I'm going to try and throw the ball here. A couple drags on the field. Look at AJ. Look how wide open AJ Brown is. Hurdle. J.J. Brown jumping over people. Oh, my goodness. A.J. Brown, are you kidding me? Man, this dude is so good. Look how Did you see the separation there? My God, he's like 15 yards behind him. A.J. jumps over a dude and finishes the playoff with six points on the board. My God, they want us to go for two here. I want a little stick play. A little stick play here to maybe, uh, you know, Jared Cook or something, maybe slants. But my goodness, A.J. Brown, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, A.J. Brown? Let's look for Jonu Smith here. Scramble outside the pocket. Look at X. Throw it right at Grant Dell. Put gold the ticket. Make the tackle. Okay, we're fine. Five-point lead. I just couldn't see a read that was open. I think, you know, I might have had that early look to Jared Cook. But, man, at the end of the day, man, A.J. Brown, what a play. We got to get a stop here. If we get the ball back, I think it might be game over. All right, guys, big possession here, big possession for our defense. Can someone go and make a play? So I'm going to start off with a little run hit, uh, run play here. Good tackle, Caleb Farley, four-yard game for Kamara. All right, guys, another, nope, not a run. Play action. Oh, my God, Clowney, three picks. This one's going for six. Wow, to Davion Clowney. That's what I'm talking about, that frame with the jumping ability. Wow, did you guys see that? He's out of here, man. What a gameplay today, guys. Everyone did their thing today. McNair, how much did uh, AJ have? Four catches, 104 yards. Man, what a game today. I think he's out of there, right? There's no other reason why he'd be pausing it. Let's just wait and see. Let's wait and see. There he goes. He's out of there. Let's go ahead and check out the lineup one more time. All right, guys. What a game today. And actually, one of those picks that Clowney had put us at 750 career picks for Madden 21 for me. So, I mean... What a game. Uh, Steve McNair did his thing. AJ did his thing. Uh, plays was made on defense. You know, we had Derek Roberson getting some pressure in there like three times today. No sacks for him, but he forced, you know, inaccurate balls, which is, hey, pretty much the same as a sack, except you just don't, you know, he doesn't lose as many yards. But, you know, at the end of the day, man, we got the job done. Clowney played phenomenal for me, in my opinion. I felt like I played very well myself, usering. Um, you know, three user picks, not bad, not bad at all. Um, that last one there, that's, that was like a, a Madden 19, Madden 18 interception animation where guys just jump up in the air. But if you can get Clowney to get some of those animations like that, he can get them. He can definitely get them. It's just the fact, you know, you just got to be in the right place, right time. And you just got to be, you know, time it perfectly. And I, I did that the very last play. Pick six. What a way to end it there, guys. What a way to end it. So yeah, with that being said, episode 40 in the books. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Hopefully we get the Tannehill coming. You know, maybe a Moss Ultimate Legend soon. Power Up Expansion. I'm not going to lie, guys. I'm pretty excited about the Power Up Expansion. I'm not going to lie. Power Up Expansion was probably one of my favorite promos last year just because the game was so dead. That just kept us alive until Madden 21 came out. But, hey, I really did like Power Up Expansion. I think, you know, a lot of names that were in there definitely didn't really need a 99 overall but got one just because, you know... They were lower overall with the power, you know, so, so we'll, we'll see some new guys like Cortland Finnegan. I don't think he'll be back in the game next year, so I would love to have a 99 Cortland Finnegan. Same with Calico. He's probably not going to be in the game next year. Same with Drew Bennett. So I'd love for all those guys to get like a 99 overall. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to just wait and see till Wednesday. I think Tuesday night they'll probably do a little reveal there. Um, but, you you know, I just cannot wait. I can't wait for that. So yeah, episode 40 in the books. Uh, so, yeah, with that being said, that's going to do it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. And until next time, I'll see y'all.